We are finally at the end of a very long series, and this, this ending is the best part, replacing vitamins with whole food nutrition. It's important that you understand that natural is not the same as synthetic, and when vitamins are members of chemically related compounds, they're whole complexes. They're not, you know, when you take ascorbic acid, that is one part of vitamin C complex. You're not taking the whole vitamin C complex. You're taking an isolated part of it that's been separated out, fractionated out, and it's been converted from something that's physiologically active into a chemical that is not usable by the body. It is not because it is not food. As I said, vitamins are complexes. Now, so how can they be natural when they're separated from food? And then the vitamins are isolated out from the complexes that have been separated from the food. And then some isolated nutrients require a process called esterification, which combines them with alcohol in order to increase the shelf life. So how can this be natural? The highly purified nutrient is then encapsulated or pressed into a tablet. And it's labeled natural because it was extracted from food. But it's, there's nothing natural about it. When the complex of a vitamin is broken down, or taken apart, it is no longer capable of producing its normal nutritional or biochemical and physiologic function or effect. It is no longer what it used to be. Living things can be produced only from living things, not from non-living matter. And that's what vitamins are. They're so processed, it's no longer a living thing. And here's an example of the studies, age-related macular degeneration, you reduce your risk by 43% by eating plants, dark leafy greens, taking vitamins, no decrease in the risk. So, you know, this is, it's a principle of the pharmaceutical industry that applied to nutrition. It's a very flawed concept. The traditional thinking about this is that there's no difference between the synthetic crystalline form and the natural state of the vitamin could not be less true. Traditional medical education, we're, we're all aware of this, focuses on treating symptoms with drugs and surgery to improve your blood biomarkers. And then we see, oh, that's a sign of health improvement because your blood biomarkers look great. But the majority of the time, there's no evidence, right, that any short-term improvements in blood biomarkers reduces the risk of disease or death. And there's tons of data that supports this. So this is the same philosophy that's used to justify the use of supplements. So it's led to research on the effects of isolated nutrients, some of which have been shown to improve biomarkers or relieve symptoms, but there's no proof it improves health or longevity or reduces the risk of disease. The use of supplements instead of drugs and surgery to treat symptoms is literally called the holistic pharmacist approach to health. Studies that look for positive benefits of supplementation have continued to show little benefit and even some harm from taking them. Studies examining the effects of whole foods and total dietary change continue to show positive results. So there's nothing toxic about food, right? Hopefully you see these comments and you understand the irony of this, right? She was obviously toxic on broccoli, fruits and veggies. No, thanks. I'm really trying to cut back. You know, poor Dr. Brown, he'd be alive today if he hadn't eaten all that kale, right? There's nothing toxic about plants or food. Studies do not support taking supplements. Over half of all Americans take a multivitamin every single day, costing over $20 billion a year. And research doesn't support taking them because there's no proof that they improve health or reduce the risk of degenerative disease. Here is a study published involving over 160,000 postmenopausal women as part of the Women's Health Initiative. And it says right out flat, multivitamins do not reduce the risk of coronary artery disease or many types of cancer. There is no data that shows vitamins work to prevent anything or reduce the risk of anything. Nutrition is what helps in prevention of what gets treatment with drugs. And I'll close with this quote, eat food, not too much, mostly plants.